Good day viewers, welcome back to this video. Today is the 1st of September 2023. Happy new month to you all. This news becomes very important because for the past 48 hours, there has been some rumors that the appeal court sitting in Abuja has declared the gubernatorial candidate of the Labour Party in Delta State, Mr. Kampenda, as the winner of the election. But this is contrary to the appeal court declaration that orders the tribunal in Delta State to revisit the Labour Party's candidate campaigner's petition against the Delta State Governor Oboriwori. Before we go into the details of the ruling of the Court of Appeal, let us take a look of what really happened, why Mr. Kampenda took the appeal to Abuja. Everybody except Sheriff Anoyine, okay? And I think um, Omar Gigi had not responded. So at that point, we applied for pretrial hearing. And we came for pretrial hearing three, four times. Okay? But the argument now is that because those other ones have not responded, we should have waited till they finished. Finish. Finish. Now, that section they are referring to does not say, it does not recognize several respondents. It says, after closing of pleadings of the respondents. So when you have four, five, no, nine respondents, and five of them have responded, and you apply for pretrial hearing, and the pretrial hearing process starts, starts, responses are made. You're saying it's premature? That's how they kill justice with technicalities. All right? We're not going to take this. The Court of Appeal in Abuja has ordered the Data State Governorship Election Petition Tribunal sitting in Asaba to revisit the petition of Mr. Kampenda, the governorship candidate of the Labour Party, against the state governor, Sh Sheriff Oboriwori. The court gave this order on Thursday morning while delivering a ruling on the interlocutory appeal filed by Mr. Kampenda against the dismissal of his petition at the tribunal in Delta State. The tribunal dismissed the petition of Mr. Penda in July, claiming that it was incompetent and a flagrant violation of paragraph 18, subsection 1 of the fourth schedule to the Electoral Act of 2022. Penda in his petition, EPTDL GOV 0123, is challenging the outcome of the 2023 gubernatorial election in the state and seeking leave of the tribunal to nullify the declaration of Oboriwori as the data state governor. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, was joined in the petition as the first respondent, while Governor Oboriwori and his deputy, Monde Onyeme, are the second and third respondent, respectively with the People's Democratic Party as fourth respondent. Dissatisfied with the tribunal decision, Penda went to the Court of Appeal to ask, among other things, for an order to compel the tribunal to entertain his petition. The fact is that Campenda's case that was recently struck out at the tribunal is what the appeal court asked the tribunal to revisit again. Campenda's case today, that was on Thursday, at the Court of Appeal was only interlocutory, which means they will go back to the tribunal panel sitting in Delta State to continue their case. A source privy to the matter told our news channel. 